I think for me, this journey began when I was a child. Um, I always tell the story that when I was a little kid, I was so inspired by the army commercials. They would always like play on um, cable TV and it would be like, be all that you can be in the army. And um, something about those commercials were just so inspiring to me that literally you literally can be anything that you want to be if you just want it bad enough if you're willing to put in the work you really can be whatever you want to be and um, that was kind of like the premise of my childhood uh, I had this fire in my belly and I knew that part of my purpose on this earth was to help change it and there's so many things that happened between those moments as a child and, and how I got here today. But the reality is that my entire life I have been drawn like a magnet to this idea that we were meant to live nothing less than heart open and fully alive. And, and God, what does that mean? What does it mean to be fully alive? Um, what does it take to truly be fully heart open? But I think that the defining moment when those things really sat into my heart was in 2013. I had just recently gone through a major life change, um, had returned from overseas, and I was just spending time with the Lord, just dreaming with Him. Out of nowhere, like a seed dropping into water, I got this vision for um, just this way of life of seeing God in people's stories and understanding that in humanity there's this tapestry weaving together of people who have certain pieces of the puzzle and if we can find those people and evoke in them the reality that they can be exactly who they were made to be we can come together as one unit and actually make this world a beautiful place and and i know that that might sound cheesy or idolistic but um for me it was just the greatest truth that you know i might not have all the answers to the world to the world's problems uh, but what I do have is the ability to see into your heart and to know what God has put in you and to be able to call that out and be your cheerleader. From that point forward, it's been a continual journey of seeking what does it look like to do this, Lord? And mostly, like, what does it look like to live that out for myself? Um, because I felt like, authentically, I couldn't evoke it in other people until I really had it in my own. The moment things changed for me is when I realized that heart open, fully alive is not a precipice to be achieved. It's not a mountaintop experience that you live on. Um, it is a continuum. It is a daily practice. It is the work of Jesus in you every single day and choosing to stay focused on that gaze. Um, and to courageously be vulnerable, to show up exactly who you are and what you're meant to be. And so I'm practicing that. Every day is not perfect and every day is not going to be perfect. The pursuit and the partnership with Jesus is where the beauty comes and where the kingdom on earth is able to pour out. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to um, be here and to be able to share it finally with the world and to know that I'm walking it to the best of my ability in this season.